favorite Ravensburger parcel with 1,000 pieces, which is this beautiful, beautiful landscape. And when I opened the box, I realized from the last time I did it that all the pieces were not entirely separated. That's why I just like ran my hand through them and trying to separate all the pieces in the process because I didn't want to cheat. Then I emptied it out and started sorting. So in the top right corner, I put all of my edge pieces. Then I sorted out all of the sky and cloud pieces. In the bottom right, I put all the ones that I thought was for the lake. And then I did two other piles, one with like the green and bushes and one with more like rocky and grass. But yeah, they were not like perfectly sorted. Those two bottom piles mostly to sort out all the edges and the sky and the lake. Then I put the edge together. Like you can see, I started in the top corner with the, the gray cloud and then did the rest of the sky. Then I moved down to some of the others and I tried to sort out the pieces to see what shape they had and try to orient them all the same way to make it easier. And I had to shuffle my piles to have space for all of those pieces. But it came together quite well. Then I had my edge all put together. So that was nice. Then I started sorting the green pile again into two different piles. Oh yeah, I sorted them into the flowers and uh, not the flowers. And then I started working on the bottom here. So all the ones that were flowers I tried to put together, but it was hard because not all the flowers are connected and it's not all obvious. So I'm referencing like the box a lot, but it still takes quite a bit of time and not like all perfect and all of it doesn't line up so um, I don't actually finish this section before I move on but I get as much of it done as I can. You see I sort the pieces again to like try to sort them into shapes and try to see what fits in where but it's a tedious process because it's hard to like look at a piece and see where it goes, you just kind of guess. And then I try to see if I can find some of the pieces in the big green pile that, that fit in my holes. But when I get I'm tired with that, I took all the ones that I sorted into like the edge between the mountains and the sky and try to put them together. You see I made like different little sections and that worked out pretty well and I quickly grabbed some of the pieces that I sorted wrong from like, one of my other piles and some of the other pieces were like easy to just see where they fit in even though they weren't the skyline and yeah so then I moved things out of the way and I could get the entire skyline all across the picture. Then I tried to sort again through like my miscellaneous pile to find the mountain pieces and that worked out pretty well so now I have like most of the mountain pieces also try to get the ones that were the edge between the mountain and the trees. And yeah, so here I'm working a bit on like different sections and I found some of those that, that go in the bottom corner, so I put them in. And then, yeah, then I sorted all of my pieces for the lake and started putting them in. That was one of the sections that went a bit quicker because uh, it has this nice uh, ombre effect to it, most of it, so you can kind of sense which pieces go in one end and what pieces go in the other end. And I sorted out all the ones that were green for the forest area, now that I completed the entire button section. But man, this was difficult. It was so hard, like all the pieces were just... It was not obvious what went where, and so I stared quite a bit at it, and you can see only like very few pieces go in here, and I just like kept looking at it, and took out a piece, and tried it, and it didn't fit where I wanted it to go.
and so eventually I ended up just um, moving it out of the way. So I sorted out the, the dark pieces that I thought would go with the cloud in the top left corner and I tried to put them in and some of them went in very easy and some of them are were missing and some of them I couldn't figure out but here the cloud is coming together nice and slow. Yeah, so I just I worked my way across the sky and the clouds up here and I did as much of that cloud as I could before moving on but yeah, it was not entirely perfect but I got it almost done and then I began finding pieces that matched up with other places and there's also this grey area in the opposite corner, it's a bit different shade of grey but yeah, I also found some pieces for that and started um, getting them to fit in and then eventually I sorted the pieces in shape um, to make it easier to see what could fit where and worked my way from there and started putting the rest of the pieces so some of the very dark blue ones were a bit easier because you know they went in the very top of the picture but like a lot of the <laughs> gray whitish were difficult to get in and it just it went fairly quick though because I got less and less pieces that I needed to find a spot for there were no more pieces in that section uh, that I had so I had to move down to try and find a way to actually finish this forest area I've done it before so I knew I could do it but yeah it's a whole lot of like trial and error like does this piece go here yes no and I there's not really a lot of system to it besides the fact that I sorted the pieces in shape but yeah and then I just took some of the pieces tried them in sometimes I made like had like more sides so it was easier to find out what kind of piece would go there but yeah I kind of stopped looking at the box and just like trying them out here we have like the vi very final stretch and then I finished all of the pieces that I had. And I'm moving out so you get a good shot here. But as you can see there is this one spot that was missing a piece so I made my own little piece and here you can see the result from it like how well it was and some pictures of the entire puzzle done from two different light angles.